forgiving in relationships is going to be the topic of this video. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> I felt led to record this video because the topic of giving and reciprocity in relationships, not only giving to others, but giving to self has been at the forefront of my mind um, today. And I journaled a little bit. I meditated a little bit. And I feel like this is the final... Um, notion to aiding to self-care self-love voicing <laughs> and I just need my numbers <laughs> um so confirmation but I just felt led to speak about this topic because it's not foreign people who are used to being natural givers, people who love giving to others. It feels, um, it fuels them. It fills them. I've been that person and I'm actively today within this moment, unlearning and relearning how to pause and refocus my thoughts, my energy to myself in ways that I know can aid in my own happiness. And, um, you know, often we're searching for reciprocity and give and take outside of us, not really fully grasping the concept of that cycle to ourselves. I've been blessed and fortunate enough to feel that I have received blessings from the universe, from source. Um, I've prayed for healthy relationships relationships that have exemplified reciprocity, exemplified healthy supportive acts of togethering. And I can truly say that I do feel that I have received that in my life. So I am so grateful to source for that. But within moving forward and trying to better oneself, there are going to be challenges along the way, naturally. And those challenges can present themselves in many ways, in ways that is easy to slip back into old habits and old ways of doing and feeling and being. I have a friend who in a sense is a bit of a crutch. Y'all hear Max in the background. <laughs> Pull my nightgown down. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have a friend who is a bit of a crutch. And I've noticed within myself for a long time that those kind of dynamics in relationships help me 
help myself because again I enjoy helping others so it's nothing if that friend calls me and says oh you know I'm going through something I could use your advice I'm like sure I'm there spill it because it's what I love to do however I had to take a step back and really reevaluate the dynamic of the relationship and truly value what it is that I prayed for and sought out for in my life in terms of healthy connections with others and moving forward. I had to ask myself, is the energy being reciprocated or is this just a give in? This person is only taking from me. And um, I had to be truthful and honest with myself as much as I love, love, love this person. The truth of the matter is the energy was not equal. It was not a give and take in a healthy, equal balance between us. And... Um, <laughs> truth of the matter is I'm no one's savior. It's not my responsibility to be anybody's savior, no matter how much it makes me feel good to help and be there for someone. It's not my responsibility or my obligation to only be that for them in terms of a healthy connection and give and take and you understand. So this dynamic is very much so present in my life at the moment. And I am taken back to sit with the feeling of how do I address this relationship going forward? The last time I was in communication with this friend, we had planned to get together, connect, catch up, and it resulted in not being that. It resulted in basically nothing. I didn't hear from them. They didn't say, hey, this is what's going on. I can't meet up with you. It just resulted in silence. And more times than never, we got to let silence be. <laughs> the response that we need um, and take it just as face value. So I'm led to, to think, well, if this had been the same situation, but maybe in a relationship aspect of like a man and a woman or an intimate relationship in that regard. If a, a guy was treating me like this, it would feel like nothing to be like, okay, well, I've washed my hands with that. I'm done with it. Like, this relationship isn't an equal give and take. Um, I know my worth. I know I'm not going to entertain somebody who doesn't value me in a way where they want to support me as much as I want to support them sort of thing. So <sighs> my mind has led me to wonder, is this a relationship worth holding on to? Is this a relationship that can heal and be worked through 
and can I go to this person and feel like I can talk to them and things can grow to a a, a better place in terms of um, things being more equal. A part of me feels like I can. A part of me feels sympathetic to the situation. And that's that's one of the major things. It's like when you know someone who has journeyed through life and has had their fair share of disappointments and sorrow and um, and trauma, naturally, you know, you want to be there to support them. Um, but again, <laughs> not anybody's savior. So it's come to a point now where it's just like, do I completely cut them off so that they are in a position where they only have themselves to rely on? Do I support them in that way? Do I support them by not giving support, by not aiding? It's it's tricky because I've I've been in that situation myself. Um, but what I've learned, and I I can honestly say that all the answers that we truly seek live within us. We just have to sit with ourselves long enough to listen to our own minds. Um, what I've grown to know and learn about this fact is that we are the answers that we seek. We are the resolution. And we are responsible for our own happiness. And when we can take the steps to problem solve our own challenges that we may face, I feel that God recognizes our efforts and then aligns people in our path to support, not to enable, not to hinder, and not to be used as a crutch, but to aid in the efforts of interdependence because I have in my past struggled with codependency um, and again in a sense of being the giver and um, that whole dynamic so I'm going to continue to unselfishly, but selfishly for the betterment of myself, do what I need to do for me in terms of maintaining my happiness, my peace, in hopes that this can be an inspiration and a tool and a guide for someone else. That's what makes sense to me in this moment.
doing for myself, vocalizing it, sharing it in hopes that somebody can take these tools and use it as a guide. So, <laughs> now that I've got all that out, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, this is all in efforts to aid in more peace. If you guys haven't followed my social pages, I only have um, Instagram accounts but i'll link my pages below i only have two but um yeah if you found this video helpful in any way if it resonates with you give it a like um show some love and take <laughs> take accountability um because that's that's what i'm about these days and just more aiding in self-growth and self-worth and healing across the nation we can only heal our nation if we choose to heal ourselves we are the change that the world needs so it starts from within and this is my efforts in aiding in the upliftment of humanity so more peace is not just a hashtag it's more than a saying it's it's a choice and it's a lifestyle and it's a movement so I will leave it here because I could go on and on like Erica, <laughs> but I will leave it here and I will catch y'all in the next one. Okay.